So riding experience, I rode about three miles on this bike so far, and I didn't do adjustment to brakes, didn't do adjustment to derailleur or anything, right out of the box. And probably I don't really need to do any adjustment so far. Maybe the rear brakes a little bit touching the pad, but I think it's normal. It's not as bad. It's a hydraulic. It will be adjusted by itself, but so far it's good. So let's go for the speed test and see how far the bike will go with the throttle only and pedal assist. It should go between 20 to 28 miles. That's what I expect. All right, so I'm gonna go with a uh, throttle only and see how fast it will go right now. And um, it's a thumb throttle, as you saw. So let's go. So it's about 13 miles, 15 on GPS, 17, 18, 19. On display, it's a 19.8. And on GPS it's 19, so on display it uh, was almost 20 actually. So far it's going uh, at least 20 miles an hour, because GPS always 2 miles, show less, 2 to 3 miles less. So uh, I think it's going about 21 miles, which is pretty good actually. But I expect less because uh, minus my weight, I'm 215 pounds, 215 pounds. Uh, a little bit heavy for the bicycles, but this one is fat tires. Also, depends how much PSI pressure you're gonna put. So let's go for another test with a pedal assist. So I'll post it on the lowest uh, or highest, whatever you call it, number eight uh, gear, and I'm gonna set to the pedal assist level 5 and I'll just use the pedal assist and see how fast so it's going up to 900 watt power motor that's a top watt power out uh, now it's about 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 on display So it was about 29 on display and when I first tested it was 29.7, 29.7 on GPS it was 28, so as I said before about 2 miles more, so it's about 30 miles an hour. Okay so the difference I noticed, I'm not sure if they're gonna correct it, I already told them Roxas to they have a uh, wrong weight I think they have like 93 pounds but the bike actually weight only almost 83 includes the battery so about 10 pounds less which is very good news many people think it's heavy it is heavy but it's 10 pounds less and the battery weight 11.6 pounds which make it even lighter if you remove the battery and seat to put on your hitch rack or if you need to lift it but again it's fat type bikes they are usually about 70 to 100 pounds so between 70 to 100 pounds is uh, with a big battery like this it's normal it's a pretty nice uh, large bicycle and let's go for the brake test as well but before I'm doing brake test, I just want to see how the shifting. So I'm going to the shifting just to see how the pedaling with the shifting. And so far, the shifting perfect, and uh, it's uh, have very good cranks on the rear, like the cassette have uh, from the lowest to the highest. So I think you can go any mountains, and it's easy to shift because it does have a Shimano trigger shifting. The throttle works independently from the pedal assist. So it means it will get up to 20 miles regardless what 
pedal assist level set up. Some bicycle limited to the pedal assist. If you set level one, it will just go up to seven or eight miles on other bicycles. This one, top speed, so 80, 20 miles, easy. Also, I like the time throttle. And so far, the seating position is really good on this bicycle. Uh, I will do small like a brake test to see how good. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be good. So I'll go about 20 miles and then brake. So about, I would say about 10 meters. It's not exact, but I can say that all depend on your weight. I weigh 250 pounds, so I'm heavy, but Troxus brakes, the one they use, it's branded and they work really good mechanical or hydraulic and this bike comes with hydraulics it can basically lock the wheel so it will stop but again it will stop all very on your weight depend how much air pressure in the tires but so far the brakes works good 180 millimeters is pretty good for this bicycle i know that some of them comes with 200 three or something like that or maybe it's a different batch but it's okay 180 I think it's good enough the handles are very comfortable as you can see I don't wear any gloves because it's actually very pleasant to hold it because it's rubbish not slippery at all really good grab not sick it's good for me and the difference between hydraulic brakes in mechanical the most of the difference you'll notice it's very easy to push so you don't need to use a lot of power to brake with your hands you can do it with one finger that's the biggest difference um, also the maintenance is a little bit different as well of course and the price uh, so far it's great I think uh, this bicycle can fit shorter people or taller people because this one exactly has a step through which is very convenient and I like step through I think I'm gonna have my wife ride this bicycle uh, she likes step through as well and it's very convenient for any age step through because if you have a big back on the uh, like on the rack to flip your leg over it's kind of hard sometimes so step through works really good and I like also to test to see how hard to pedal it without any power, without any pedal assist. So I'm going to turn it to the zero assist on display. So it means no power at all. Actually, the thumb throttle will not work either in this situation. And let's see how easy to pedal it. I can uh, shift to gear three and see how fast I can pedal with this without work out that's a lot if i want to work out more i can do probably four let's do number one it's even better so it's about nine miles an hour which actually most of the bicycle on the beach i notice traveling at this speed nine miles ten miles so you can take it to the beach or anywhere and never to worry that you're gonna run out of uh, battery power because actually the battery is pretty big 960 watt hours is a large battery but what about this one that you can good morning you can shift the gear easily with trigger shifter uh, and get good workout even without power or if you run out of power somehow then you can just pedal it as a regular bicycle uh, i know this one is not regular it's a fat type bike and let's go on i turn on the ic so i was all pedaling as a regular bicycle right now so now i'm just on level one go to level two most likely yeah so the difference this one is fat tire the tefa tire regardless electric or non usually going um, harder a little bit because the flat tire give you more resistance versus to two inches tires so that's pretty much normal if you're planning to ride your bicycle somewhere on the pavement it's good to put psi between 20 to 25 
if you're planning to ride off-road I think it's good to put between 10 to 15 psi based on your weight and of course it's all up to you I'm planning to take this bicycle off-road to test it out how good it's performing mountains it says here for urban mountain right on the frame and I'm pretty sure it should be really fun to ride in the mountains on this bicycle because the position straight up and grips the brakes the motor it's great and I would call this bicycle gentle beast because uh, it's a uh, accelerate very gently it does not give you much like um, jerky like some uh, more powerful bikes on and off like some more powerful bikes like with thousand watt motor you get a lot of power and you if you are not experienced rider you can lose control easily but um, with this bike you start slightly much gentler but uh, if you need more power with pedal assist it's kicking really good up to 29 miles you can feel like it has a lot of power and i noticed the limit up to 900 watt power and i think this is for a reason they don't want to overheat the controller the motor so they will not have many issue with you guys because some company lift it up and allow you to go 1200 watt but then the motor get issue the controller get overheated and problems so i think they limit it for purpose and i would not recommend to change it because uh, then you can run out of warranty and they give you two years warranty so the troxus are really good with warranty two years it's actually excellent and um, yeah i think it's a good idea to limit to 900 because that's all you need probably with this bicycle it's not motorcycle it's electric bicycle again and uh, if you want faster then you probably want to buy a motorcycle because this is a bicycle and i think they are doing really good on the bicycle regardless if you buy explorer or volcanoes i have volcanoes and i like them a lot actually i like volcanoes a lot as well they look and ride excellent so you might want to check the link in description and i'll post also some discounts in description so please check it out don't forget hit subscribe and like it and i'll see you guys in the next video bye